Yeah! Welcome back to Lingo Kids Crafts. Today, we are going to learn how to draw a black and white round object. It rolls when it touches the floor. You can kick it on the playground. It's used in a popular sport known all over the world. Can you guess what it is? That's right! Today, we will be drawing a soccer ball. So grab your pencil and a sheet of paper and let's get started! Let's start by drawing the shape of our soccer ball. In the center of our paper, draw a big circle. Easy, isn't it? Now let's give our circle some texture. Remember, a soccer ball is not a flat circle. So we have to make it seem like it's a 3D sphere. That's why we will start by drawing pentagons. A pentagon is a shape that has five corners. On the top left side of the circle, draw a wide upside down V. Great job! Now, from each corner of your V shape, draw two lines going down. Make sure each line you draw on the left and right are tilted inwards. After that, Link both ends with one straight line. Your pentagon should be pointing upwards and should now have five sides. Great job, everyone! You just drew your first pentagon. Then, draw a line coming out of each corner. Your five lines should go all around the pentagon, opening like the petals of a flower, just like that. Next, we will be drawing another pentagon at the end of the two bottom lines you just drew. Let's start with the left line by drawing an upside-down V at the end of that line. Now, from each corner of your V shape, draw two lines going down. Make sure they are tilted inwards, like you did in your first pentagon. After that, link both ends of these two lines with one straight line. Then, draw four lines coming out of each corner of your pentagon. The top corner already has a line. Now, to draw our third pentagon, let's go to the bottom right line coming out of your first pentagon. At the end of that line, draw a third pentagon, similar to the last two you just drew. Again, draw four lines coming out of each corner of your pentagon. The top corner already has a line. Make sure the line from the middle left corner of your pentagon 3 links to the middle right corner of pentagon 2, just like that. Now you have three pentagons and lines that are all drawn together in the shape of triangles. Great job, everyone! Did you know that a lot of countries call soccer football because you primarily use your feet? Finally, between the bottom right line of Pentagon 2 and the bottom right line of Pentagon 3, draw straight lines with two little lines touching the lower side of your circle just like that. Do the same between the middle right lines of pentagon 1 and 3. We are only drawing parts of these pentagons to really make it seem that our ball is rolling and is not flat. Now that every corner is connected, our soccer ball is almost done. You can use any coloring tool you prefer, whether it's a pencil, paint, crayon, or marker. You can also pick any colors you like. If you want to follow our suggestions, for this drawing, we will be using black, gray, and white. Take your black crayon and color your main three pentagons. With that crayon, color both parts of your other two pentagons you drew at the end. Your soccer ball is looking real! Then, take your gray crayon and shade all the lines between your pentagons. Finally, you can color all the parts between the lines and the pentagon with the white crayon, or leave them as the color of the white paper. There are so many sports and games to play with a ball. What is your favorite? Your soccer ball is ready to roll. Parents, your child has done an amazing job. We'd love it if you'd share their art group with us on social media for a chance to be featured on our channels. There's nothing better than seeing the art made by our Lingo Kids families around the world. Just tag us! More songs, activities, and podcasts on our YouTube channel.